Hey, hey guys, Dave with Build Alpha here. Uh, in this video, I want to show you how you can import custom data into the Build Alpha platform. So, Build Alpha comes with built in daily data uh, for over 90 plus markets, uh, which include futures, ETFs, uh, Forex, and even Bitcoin. Um, but let's say you wanted to add intraday data or weekly or monthly data or even some custom bar types like range bars, uh, case bars, or Renko bars, um, or what have you. Um, in this video, I want to show you how you can do that. So I'm just going to pull some data from TradeStation. Um, I have crude oil futures uh, case bars. I'm just going to hit this data window up top and then go ahead and save the data. Um, but just to save time, I'm going to go ahead and pretend like I did and I'm going to open it up in Excel. Because uh, we need to format it so that Build Alpha can read it. Um, so in order to do that, Build Alpha only accepts data that has the date formatted as year, 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 month, month, day, day. So to do that in Excel, you're just going to right click um, after highlighting the column. Uh, you hit Format Cells. Um, and then I will hit this Custom. And then for Type, I will just type in four Ys, two Ms, and two Ds. Then I will actually delete the open interest row, uh, excuse me, column, and the time column. Um, Build Alpha eventually will have time filters, but as of right now, it only needs data, um, no matter what the time frame, um, as date, open, high, low, close, of volume. Um, and I, I will actually go ahead and delete the header row. Now, after I formatted it correctly, I just need to save it as a CSV file. So in order to do that, you just come down here and click on CSV and save it and then I will open up build alpha now in build alpha you just go to service settings and then you can hit open for this user defined data and I'll show you in a second as soon as I find the file so I just click on the file I want to import so you can see user data one file and then I will set the multiple um, to 1000 because again we're using crude oil futures uh, which has a contract multiplier of 1000 now again for uh, stocks ETFs Forex um, Bitcoin they don't have a contract multiplier so you can go ahead and set that at one uh, but for futures you're gonna have to use the contract specific specific multiplier uh, to make sure all the calculations are correct now after you um, load up your file you just hit OK then you can go ahead and change the symbol to this user data one and now you can use Build Alpha um, on your custom data um, with no uh, hesitation at all. Uh, so I hope that was helpful, and I hope this is uh, beneficial to your trading process. All right, thanks, guys.